it's your man Brett from The Skateboarding Show here with another philosophy piece uh, because I believe in skateboarding and I believe in philosophy and I believe in, I believe that skateboarding is complex and is intellectual as well as as well as as well as philosophical and as well as physical. So I believe skateboarding to be intellectual, it requires intellectual understanding um hence why i'm doing these pieces if this stuff is not of interest to you by all means scroll on and go and watch something else i don't mind it doesn't matter um if the philosophy of skateboarding or philosophical ideas about skateboarding are of interest to you then these videos may might be of interest to you and if they are then i have plenty more of them on my youtube channel and on uh, i have snippets of them on my instagram as well and i have an audio podcast which you can keep up with as well which you can listen to while you're driving or doing something else or doing the ironing or whatever it may be no hat on today i've just realized that that is this is how bald i am anyway right so today's philosophical viewpoint is um a uh one of the many many contradictions that there are in skateboarding i believe skateboarding to be a performance um that performance is brought about by you answering the question, what are you going to do when you mix yourself, your skateboard and the environment around you? Those three critical things. OK, um, now within that, the contradiction is that skateboarding is uh, both a performance in so much as it's sort of. Um, OK, so there's a couple of things. OK, so one. So I mean, performance in two distinctly different uh, forms. So one, whether you are doing skateboarding as an uh, artistic expression, as a self-expression, that is still a performance. You are performing your self-expression. If you're doing skateboarding as a sport and you're competing in a competition, you are performing. Uh, one has a sort of performance as in high performance level as in uh highest ollie or the 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 biggest kickflip that sort of performance and the other is more of a sort of a performing element with an artistic twist to it like a performing of it which is which is two performance and performing maybe i don't know like a like an art, athletic performance the best uh, and an artistic performing it's still a performance. Um, now, what it could also mean is that it's um, it's it's sort of fake. It's sort of not real. It's a performance. It's not real. It's just a performance. It's just a um, it's just something you do that disappears. You know, like like you do it, and then the trick doesn't appear anymore it's not real anymore it, it disappears the second it's done even if it's captured on video or a photograph that's still not the trick that's a capture of it that, that's a that's a that's a, um, a capturing of it yeah that's a that's a representation of it that's not the actual trick but the but the contradiction comes with the idea that it's also authentic skateboarding is both a sort of fake performance that we put on as a performance we put on and as a contradiction to that and as a complete and utter opposition to that it is also a uh it is also something that's very authentic so it's a fake performance and incredibly authentic uh and it's authentic because um because it's real because it has an it has a it has a sort of absolute quality to it you either landed the trick or you didn't we all know that right we can you, we can talk about like oh you know it's okay like it's a little bit you know like we all know that if somebody lands and it wasn't quite a land we know it's not a land we know that right and we can talk about like freedom and don't be hating on people i'm not hating on anyone i'm saying there's landing something and there's not landing something and we know the difference right um, and why else is it authentic? It's authentic because only you know 
whether you have performed to a standard that you are happy with. Again, you are welcome to think that skateboarding is fun. I think, I think there's a huge area of skateboarding that's great fun. Skateboarding is great fun, but that doesn't that doesn't mask or hide the, the reality that skateboarding also comes with, God damn, I know I could have done better then. Or, God damn, that was the best I can do. Oh my God, that's the best skateboarding I've ever done. I am totally happy with that. I'm fine. I can walk away from that session. Stoked. Brilliant. Okay. That's why it's authentic. It's authentic because only you, there we go. It's authentic because only you can judge you. Right, only you know how well you did. Um, you know, I think it was Lance Mountain who said, "You're shredding when you get in the bowl or whatever it may be." Whatever, okay, forget that bowl bit. You're shredding when you skate a little bit better this time than you did last time. Right, and only you know whether you did that or not. Only you know whether or not like you did a little bit better. So in other words, what he's saying with that is that it, you, shredding is not um, that you did better than anyone else at the skate park, it's whether or not you did better than yourself. And then within whether or not you did better than yourself, it's did you do better than you know you could do? Did you do as well as you know you could do? Which which is real. Uh, and And maybe people are in denial of that I don't know maybe people who don't want to talk about that stuff are in denial of it maybe they're not I don't know that's their own stuff that's for them to figure out what they're doing uh I know that I'm not in denial of it I know that I uh ask myself the question did I do as well as I could do then or did I skive off or did I not do as well as I could do did I did I not skate to my full potential what was my performance at was I cruising at 50 percent was I sort of in the 75% area or was I pushing it right at the sort of 95, 100% uh, ability level for me? For me, not for anyone else. And even then, when I'm doing that, what I'm doing is a performance. I'm performing. How was my performance? Um, so... So now let me create the one minute soundbite because we're seven, we're nearly eight minutes in, right? And some people would have watched it all this way and some people wouldn't. And I'm aware that I'm putting these like little one second, one minute sound bites up on things like Instagram and YouTube. And people are not necessarily watching the whole videos because they're not saying that quite often I give both points of view. Like perhaps skateboarding is a performance. Perhaps it's absolutely not. Perhaps we're just playing around on a piece of wood and perhaps none of it means anything. And perhaps the way in which we're performing doesn't mean anything. I mean, there is a whole industry and a whole media stream, a whole like, there is a lot of video footage of people just playing around on a piece of wood who all appear to be trying to perform as well as possible, who appear to be performing and performing and performing until they get the one particular performance that they're really happy with, which then they, sh they, they send out to the world. I don't know. I mean, uh, so I'm being sarcastic and passive aggressive there. What I see is people performing. So uh, that that's what I see. And I see that as both a sort of fake performance, because like like all performing is, like all like like acting is a fakery. And at the same time, it's incredibly authentic to really get into the character, to really become the character becomes authentic. And that is what happens in skateboarding. There's this, there's this weird contradictory element of the fact that it's both a sort of fake performance, because we don't need to skateboard. Skateboard is, skateboarding is an element, isn't, um, isn't uh, required for life. You know, eating, sleeping, breathing, those things are required for life. Everything else is a, an added bonus, uh, almost sort of fake added bonus, if you will. So... Um, and that's what I'm kind of saying. That's what I mean about the fakeness of the performance. And at the same time, it's incredibly authentic because, because it requires you, no, because it invites you to be honest about yourself. It's not required. It is an invitation for you to be 
honest about yourself. So let's create the one minute soundbite that I might put up on Instagram uh, in the vain hope that it will uh, entice people to YouTube to watch the whole video and to hopefully hear both points of view. Skateboarding is a performance, whether you're doing it for self-expression through an artistic means or whether you're doing it for sport, for a competition, people are performing when they're doing skateboarding. There also comes an element of fakery with that performance because it's a fake performance that's put on. It's, uh, it's like, a, like a mask, like, a, like an act that's put on. At the same time, to contradict that, because skateboarding is full of contradictions, skateboarding is incredibly authentic. And in some sort of weird, hypocritical, contradictory manner, those two things go hand in hand. That fake performance allows for authenticity. The authenticity comes through self-honesty about how well you did with that performance. Of course, uh, people are welcome just to dismiss philosophy of skateboarding and just to go skateboarding and do it for whatever reason, uh, in whatever way you want. And I am not telling anybody how to do skateboarding or what it's about. I'm telling you my philosophical ideas, which are open to discussion if you wish to have intellectual, nuanced debate or discussion about it. Uh, not even really a debate, because I'm not interested in convincing you of my opinion or you convincing me of your opinion. But, um, but I am interested in the philosophy of skateboarding because skateboarding is intellectual. It requires intellectual capability to be able to skate. And that's why I make these videos. So, uh, thank you very much. As I say, if you enjoy them, uh, feel free to check out the podcast where all these are uh, verbally or audibly. Uh, check out the YouTube and um, please go and enjoy your skateboarding. Uh, none of this is meant to take away from the enjoyment of skateboarding. It is uh, just, as I say, a recognition of the idea that skateboarding is something more than a physical act that we do with our body and a piece of wood with wheels and the environment that we have around us. Thank you very much. I can't talk today. That's great. For somebody doing presenting to a video, it would probably be a good idea to learn how to talk. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, and I'll see you all later. Cheers. Bye-bye.